Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to episode 10 of the Rainbow Bridge. I am so excited to see you here, and I thank you so very kindly for joining me on this beautiful summer solstice day. Um, we got some big work to do, and if you are looking for an awesome way to, you know, really do something awesome for the planet, connect in, let's do some karma clearing in the Ascension Grid. Um, I want to take you on this beautiful experience and, you know, let, let's let's help those souls who need a little help. Just hand them a hand and help pull them up from that pit. <laughs> and I will explain all of this here in a moment. So my name is Rena Dwelly. I am a certified diamond dowser and inner diamond practitioner. And I assist people in clearing physical, mental, and emotional blocks in their minds, their bodies, their souls, as well as their environments. Um, through this work, I help people raise the energetic frequency of their environments and themselves, which allows for direct access to the law of attraction. So yes, hello, Deborah. I'm so happy to see you. If you have joined me before, um, you know that we do this meditation called the Tubes of Light, which gives us so much cool access to the quantum field and the quantum frequencies. So, but if you haven't, don't fear. I will definitely guide you on this adventure. And I have some pictures to show you. Before we get started, I want to invite you all to like this, love this, share this video out. Um, you just never know where people are on their journeys and we just wanna be able to offer a little help to those who might be looking for something different to try. So, and I will tell you the Akashic Academy is definitely the place to be for the, for the different stuff. We have lots to offer here, it's absolutely incredible. So, um, I have my notes, sorry guys. <laughs> if, if you've seen me before, you know I have my notes, so. Uh, um, just a question for you. Have any of you heard of Sanat Kumara? Anyone? Raise your hand if you have. Sanat Kumara was Venus's twin flame. And four million years ago, or over four million years ago, he worked with other cosmic light beings to create the ascension grid of Earth. Now, I want to show you a quick picture of what this ascension grid looks like. It lies in the etheric field of Earth. I'll just show you here. Um, okay, so there's a gold wave and there's a silver wave. Yes, that's my little depiction. I, <laughs> I did not create the Earth picture. I just drew the waves around it, um, just so you know what we're talking about. So um, there have always been souls who have known about the Ascension Grid and who have worked with it and, you know, did, did stuff in helping our planet to evolve and ascend. So Druids and Freemasons also worked on this grid. So just to kind of give you an example, we're really tapping into these quantum frequencies in the quantum field and doing some big, big, beautiful work. Um, mountains and places like Sedona, Arizona follow this energy line. So just to give you an example, you know, these positive vortexes, they're tapping in, um, they're, they're like a straight connection point to this ascension grid, which makes sense because these beautiful uplifting places are going to, um, really help uplift the vibe, help us connect in with what ascension and evolution feels like, right? Makes sense. Okay, um, so there is a golden wave in this ascension grid that surrounds Mother Earth, and the golden wave is our connection to the Cosmic Father. So we'll be going there, we'll doing some, some radiating of frequencies, and then there's also a silver wave, which the silver wave is our connection to the Cosmic Mother or Mother Earth, right? So these two go hand in hand to help us evolve and ascend. All right, so one more picture to show you guys. Um, we are gonna do the tubes of light, higher levels meditation today. So just wanna give you guys an idea of what we're doing. Let me get this in focus here. We will be calling light into our lower bodies here. We will be calling um, these royal blue and rose frequencies in surrounding our body. 
um, connecting in with our quantum point via the rainbow bridge, hence the name of the show. We'll be pulling our golden cord down, connecting that in with our quantum point, and that's how we get to these higher levels of the quantum field. So like I said, if you've never joined me before, absolutely no worries. Um, I will be taking you on a beautiful adventure and we will be doing some beautiful, beautiful service work for our planet. Now, as a diamond dowser and an inner diamond practitioner, we have, you know, there's certain times of the month where we do specific pieces of work. And there's also certain times of the year where we do specific pieces of the work. You know, it, it, it kind of goes back to the saying that you walk the walk, you talk the talk, you live the life, right? So every day, every single day, multiple times a day, I am I'm connecting in with these frequencies, I'm doing the work. And, you know, if you love this show, there's tons of replays. Um, I, well, episode 10, so there's nine other replays where you can kind of connect in and see what I do. And, you know, even if you just do the basic meditation, it really, it is helpful. It's absolutely helpful. It, it helps raise your vibe. It helps, you know, protect you from the lower vibrational energies and even things that make you physically sick. So um, I'm excited to be on this journey. Thank you for joining me all today. I'm gonna just take a sip of my tea and we'll get started. Cranberry tea today. I thought I'd celebrate the solstice with some fruity tea. All right, so I'm gonna invite you to just take some deep breaths. Close your eyes. Connect your feet to the floor. Just take some deep breaths, bringing you into present time. And as we take these deep breaths, let's call in the crystalline white light from above our heads. Pull this into our physical body. And as we do this, the crystalline white light helps release any energetic toxins, pollutions, or residues that might be hanging out. We're going to expand our awareness out into our etheric body, which is four to six inches outside of the physical body, and bring in the crystalline white light. Let's expand our awareness another foot outside of the etheric body into our emotional body. Again, bringing in the crystalline white light. This balances our emotions, calms us, really allows us to be in present time. Expand your awareness one more foot outside of the emotional body into the lower mental body. And bring the crystalline white light in here. And as we do this, this helps balance our left and right brains. Helps us connect in and receive. Now we're going to pull these bodies up and connect them together, the physical body into the etheric body, the etheric body into the emotional body, and the physical etheric emotional bodies into the lower mental body. From here, we travel up the rainbow bridge and connect in with our quantum point, which is located about three feet above our head. As we connect in, this, this is a ball of white light, about two to three inches in size. And this gives us direct access to the quantum fields. So from our quantum point, let's call in royal blue light around and beneath us. This activates our firewall, which is important when we do this work. Now we're going to call in the rose light around and beneath us. 
for unconditional love and support from the universe as we do this work. And as it comes in around us, imagine radiating this light as far as you can imagine into the universe, offering love and support wherever it needs to go. Now from beneath our feet, call in violet light to come up, expand it into our etheric body, emotional and lower mental body, connecting in with all four bodies. We are going to pull this up over our heads. And for today, we're going to specifically ask it, this violet light, we surrender any anything, any events, any pieces that we may have added to this ascension grid that surrounds Mother Earth. Go to your quantum points. Reach up three feet above the quantum point to connect in with the monadic level. From the monadic level, we pull down a golden cord and connect that to our quantum point. We're going to travel one foot above the quantum point to connect in with our buddhic level. And it's just like turning on a light switch here. Just, just illuminate and we'll keep traveling up to our atmic level. Turn on the light switch here. And we're going to connect in with our monadic level. Here you will see a golden light. From this golden light, I want you to send a ray of golden light to the middle of our group. We're going to meet over Bismarck, North Dakota. This is where I'm located. We're going to call in crystalline white light to fill the spaces between each and every one of us. Around the group, we'll call in royal blue light to activate a second layer of firewall. And around that royal blue light, let's call in rose light to connect in with any ascended masters, any light beings, especially Sanat Kumara and any other cosmic light beings who have created and maintained this ascension grid of earth. Now from below us, let's call in the violet light as we bring this violet light up, asking it to release any karma that exists between us as a group. For all who watch now and all who will watch later, we are now connected in. And now let's connect in with the golden wave of the ascension grid. This connects us into the Cosmic Father. Let's radiate violet light through the ascension grid. The violet light is for forgiveness. It's also one of the very most powerful frequencies of all 24 that I work with. It's Colin Yellow for wisdom. Just send this through the golden wave. Emerald for healing, emerald green for healing.
Rose is also coming through very strongly for unconditional love. We'll send out Peach for Joy. And Gold for Abundance. And bring your awareness down to your heart. Connect in with the silver wave of the ascension grid. This is our connection to the cosmic mother and the heart of mother earth. We'll begin here by radiating lilac light, lilac for release. Saffron, yellow for compassion. Citrus green for truth and honesty. Orange for celebration. Silver for magnificence. Now come back now to the platform of light that connects us all together we're going to call in a golden dome around us. This amplifies the work we have done. Disconnect your light from the center of the group and come back to your own monadic level. And I want you to just take a moment to receive the light that you have sent out. Allow it to travel down the atmic level, the buddhic level, the quantum point. It activates the quantum point. Comes down into our heads, into our hearts and just allow your body to receive all of this light, every cell, every atom, all the spaces between. Let's pull this light down further, down to our feet, open up a channel and allow this light to flow down to the heart of Mother Earth. And as we connect in with Mother Earth, we anchor this light. Come back to your quantum point, three feet above your head. Rub your hands together. Place the palms of your hands over your eyes. And when you are ready, bring yourself back into the world. Did you guys love that? 
I really, really love that work. And this is something we do at solstice time, which again, you know, as, as a light worker, this is, this is why we are here. We are here to do the big, the hard and assist work, right? So this, this goes back to um, working with this grid, um, the Atlanteans, you know, they were of the highest consciousness of earth and they really worked in with this grid. And during that time, the destroyers of light had come in and tried to stop the big, beautiful work that was happening to help Mother Earth evolve. So um, as, they, as they tried to stop this, they were struck by lightning and fire. So the story goes. So this is during the time where souls were going to sleep is what we call it. Like there are awakened souls and then there are souls that are sleeping. So as we do this karma clearing in the Ascension grid, this, this allows that density to lift and we offer a helping hand to the souls who are ready to wake up from their sleep. So this is a really, really important. And, you know, especially with all that's going on with the world, I think it's just so important that we did this work today. So I'm very thankful for all of you who are here now and who have showed up to do this work with me today. Um, we've, we've done some seriously big work and we've also helped ourselves. I mean, you can just feel the tingles radiate through your body as you do this work. It's so fun and just one of my most favorite things to do. So if you liked what you've seen today, I invite you to connect with me. Please feel free to send me a friend request on Facebook, PM me. If you have any questions for me, I, I would love to connect with you and visit with you about how, what I do, how I do it, and how I can help you transform your life. Um, big, amazing stuff here. Um, I will also post the link for my business page um, after the show so you guys know where to find me exactly. But my name is Rena Dwelly too, so you can connect with me that way. I don't know if you guys are Akashic Academy members already, but if not, I invite you to go to askyourrecords.com, connect in with Emily, and ask her about joining our group. It's 11 11 a month or $100 per year. Emily and her incredible business partner, Coach Nick, you know, they offer special education, special bonus sessions. There's Mindful Mondays with Coach Nick, and Emily has intuitive development on Wednesdays. And, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen some of her breathing exercises or even perhaps some of her oops things that her oops videos that are supposed to be posted inside of the Akashic Academy. But we all know they're not really oopses, right? Because somebody needs to see those messages. So connect in with Emily, ask her about joining, let her know Rena sent you. I would be honored to be on this journey with you even further and deeper. So, um, and then up later this evening, we have Sacred Chakra Flow with Andrea Stepanowski. She is on at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific time right here on the Akashic Academy. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really, really hope you guys loved that. Let's see, we got a couple of comments here. Sylvia says, I had no idea what your plan was and I grabbed my violet flame agate, orange calcite and my amethyst seer stone on top of my third eye. That is incredible, Sylvia, how cool. That is so, so awesome. I'm so glad you were here with me. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. I see all your beautiful comments coming in. Like I said, you know, if you have any questions for me about what I do, um, and how I do it, you know, half hour, <laughs> half hour is kind of a quick time. I would love to spend like 10 whole days just kind of pumping you up and getting you excited about all the cool stuff I do, but I have a half hour every week. So it's, it's interesting to break down the little pieces and what comes to fruition for the week. So I hope you guys all loved it. Make sure you share this out with your friends. Become an Akashic Academy member. We would love to have you in this amazing supportive community. And make sure you join Andrea Stepanowski at 7 p.m. Eastern for Sacred Chakra Flow. Thank you all so much. Happy solstice. I hope your solstice is filled with the biggest, most beautiful magic you have ever seen in your entire lives. 
Um, enjoy your weekend and know that I love you all. And I send you so much love and light. Have a magical day.